guys, I hope you're doing well today. It is August 1st, so it's time for me to film my August empties video, and I have a ton, ton of stuff. I have a bunch of makeup, some skincare, body care, a couple of hair care items, which I think is just dry shampoo as usual. So I'm just going to get started because I don't want this to be super long. I'm guessing it's going to be around like... 17 minutes though so let's get started as always i want to start off with makeup and this is just like a makeup applicator or sponge this is the real techniques miracle complexion sponge and mine just got very torn up it's kind of hard now and i tend to replace these every like six months or so and i just got a double pack and they both work really well it's nice to have a new sponge I love this. This is perfect for applying foundation, concealer, cream highlighter, and blending things out. And I actually have been loving using this flat side for my foundation because I really feel like it gives me a lot of coverage as opposed to using the other sides. And then I like using this side also for concealer. And this side works for concealer as well, but I feel like this is a little more precise. I really like this sponge. As you can see, I have repurchased it, and it is my second favorite foundation application method as I've been loving my Zoeva buffer brush to apply foundation because it gives me the most coverage and I really like this wood repurchase and this one is a big one I just posted my pan that palette finale update for this palette I'm still going to be posting updates for my Smashbox little trio and my Naked Basics 2 palette from Urban Decay but I finally finished my Too Faced Naturalized palette. This thing is over four years old, probably about four and a half years old now. And look at it. It is beautiful. It's so empty and I'm so happy about it. This took me forever to pan, around two years, and I'm very excited to be finished with it. I give you most of my thoughts, or all of my thoughts, in that finale video, but Overall, it is a great neutral palette. They have changed out a couple of the shades, but I'm happy to be finished with it, and I wouldn't repurchase it just because I want to try new palettes, and this just gave me a lot of frustration over the last couple of years, and I'm ready to be done with it, and I'm so happy I am. I have two items from my Seven Summer Flings Project Pan. The first one is this NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. This was fine. I did buy a Wet n Wild setting spray, which actually I think has more alcohol in it than this one does, so I would probably go back to the Dewy Finish setting spray because I do like that, or a more natural one, like the Mario Badescu one. I been wanting to try that as well but I wouldn't repurchase this simply because I like a dewier finish. This didn't really do much for my makeup like bring down the cakiness I kind of just let it be and it was refreshing but I would not repurchase it. And I have two foundations and one of them was from my Seven Summer Flings Project Pan. It was the Maybelline Femi Foundation and this is the Dewy and Smooth one in the shade Porcelain. This is my second one of these foundations that I finished and I really love the finish of it. It is a medium coverage dewy foundation and the color was a little bit too dark for me in the winter but it worked really well for me in the summer. I am quite a bit tanner so this is too light for me even if I wanted to repurchase it so I'd have to get a different shade. But I did purchase a different foundation to try out, and I've been liking that. So I would repurchase this in the future. It is really affordable. I think it's around 6 to $8, depending on where you get it. It is a really, really nice foundation, especially if you have normal to dry skin. Another foundation that I finished up is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup, and my shade is Classic Ivory. I just finished this up on vacation because this was technically my summer foundation, and this actually is a little bit too light for me now. The weird thing about my tan is that I'm really tan everywhere else. Well, tan for me, but as you can see, this part of my neck does not get tan, so I should be bringing down my foundation to my neck. I just don't feel like it. I feel like it would just like feel really sweaty and gross there, so I haven't done that. So the difference might be a little bit, I don't know, not really harsh, but there might be a difference between my neck and my face. I don't really care that much. No one said anything to me. If they did, I would probably just shrug my shoulders and just be like, whatever. So, I don't know. Anyway, this is a really nice foundation formula. It's about medium coverage, and I could do a little bit more if I just build it up with my foundation brush. I would consider repurchasing it, but I do want to try out other foundations because I used this a couple years ago, went back to it, and it's fine, but I do prefer my Maybelline one. I have two pretty exciting empties. One is this... Urban Decay Revolution Lipstick in Rush. I did finish this yesterday, and as you can see, I'm trying to twist it, and nothing is coming up. I'll give you a little swatch of it. That's what it looks like. 
I am in love with the formula of these Urban Decay lipsticks. They have discontinued the Revolution lipsticks, but I'm pretty sure what I heard that the Vice lipsticks are very similar, so I would consider checking those out in the future. I do have a backup of Rush. I'm not sure if I want to keep it or throw it into a giveaway because I have used up the entire color of it. But I do really like this color. It is a gorgeous shade. It's a great your lips but better shade. And the formula is beautiful. It feels like a lip balm to me. And it's super comfortable and non-drying. But it is a pretty opaque color. So I would recommend this color if you can find it. And I think it is in the new Vice lipstick formula as well. And then finally for makeup empties I have this Becca Liquid Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is the travel size one in Moonstone. And... I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but I can see through it right here. This is a little over a year old, so I'm not going to cut open and get like the last couple drops of it. But this was a beautiful liquid highlighter. I have the Moonstone pressed version of this, and I think the pressed one is a little bit more yellow. But this is such a gorgeous like liquid highlighter. I will probably repurchase this in the future because I love it. It's perfect to mix in foundation or if you want like a luminizing primer. It's so great and I'm sure it will be a good like body shimmer as well if you want to be fancy like that. But I love this and I will consider repurchasing it. I have two hair care empties that are dry shampoos. First one is this Batiste dry shampoo and the Sweet and Seductive one. And it has Ella Henderson. I don't know who that is on the packaging and I did not like this scent it was too powdery for me but I love the Batiste dry shampoos they work really great they do leave a bit of a white cast in your hair if you spray too much but if you just massage it into your scalp and take a little bit of time brushing it out it's great and it makes my hair feel and look a lot better and then another Batiste I had was this Batiste dry shampoo in the coconut and exotic tropical scent this is my second favorite Batiste scent I do love the fruity and cheeky cherry one this one smelled really nice and coconutty and I would consider purchasing the travel size ones again because I thought they would only have a couple uses in them, but they ended up having at least two weeks of uses in them, which is fine for me if I'm going to be traveling on a plane or something. So I like these. I love the Batiste, and this scent is one of my favorites. I have a couple random products. I have two of these Mad About You hand sanitizers from Bath & Body Works. I guess I just started these two at different times and I thought they were the same ones and then I found them so I just finished them up. This is like a very floral but fruity scent and this one had the glitter in it. I don't think I would try to go out of my way and get these ones again. It was a nice scent, it's just not my favorite. I also have this Ardell eyebrow razor. This one just got a little bit dull so I'm going to toss it. I like to use these eyebrow razors to clean up my brows and just kind of go around the sides and on these sides right here to clean them up a little bit if I don't feel like plucking every single hair. These work really nice, just be careful not to cut yourself. And I never had up until like the last time I opened a new one, I did cut myself. So these are very sharp, just be careful with them. And these are also great to shave your face from what I heard, just see like the little baby hairs. These are great and they're really affordable as well. I have two fragrances and they are both from Victoria's Secret. First one is this Pink Warm and Cozy Body Mist, and this was in my Summer Flings Project Pan as well. This is Toasted Vanilla and Peony. I freaking love this scent. I've gone through at least three of these travel size body sprays, but I think I'm just going to bite the bullet and buy the full size, which I think is like $25. So it's not that much for a perfume, but I just usually just pick up these travel size ones. This smells so good. It's a great sweet girly scent, but it's not too sugary sweet. I love this. This reminds me of my trip when I went to the Dominican Republic with Matt's family and him. So I just keep buying it because it's a nostalgic scent for me because that was the first time I used this and I'll continuously buy it and I think I'm going to buy the big size next time. I also finished up this Victoria's Secret Sunny Bright Sky Bright Crisp Apple and Vibrant Poppy Body Mist and this is a couple years old. I bought this for my mom and I guess um, she's not the biggest body spray person and I think she only uses them every once in a while so we use this up as like a room spray in the bathroom and then I ran out of body spray so I just grabbed this and I think there was only about like that much left in it so I'm not including it with my fragrances that I finished up this year because I didn't fully finish it. But this was a really nice fresh scent. I wouldn't repurchase it though because I prefer sweeter fruity scents and sometimes a little bit more like floral-ish but not too floral. This was a little too fresh for me but it did smell really good especially if I was going to work. 
Next I have some shower care products. The first one is this Winterberry Wonder Shower Gel. The notes are Red Winterberry, Ruby Apple, Sparkling Cranberry, Snow Kissed Carmelia, and Crystal Vanilla. It is a very strong berry scent. It does leave a scent on your body. I've gone through at least a couple body lotions, a couple shower gels, a fragrance mist, so I am kind of sick of this scent, but I would recommend it because it is a good one. Another shower gel that I finished is this Gardenia and Fresh Rain Shea and Vitamin E shower gel. This was a nice fresh floral scent and this was the travel size so I used this when I was in Georgia. It was good. It wasn't my favorite scent but it did smell really nice. It wasn't too overpowering and it was a good shower gel. It's just that I prefer more sweeter fruity scents. And then I also finished up this Deep Steep Clean Pure Natural Honeydew and Spearmint Moisturizing Body Polish. This was like one full use in the shower and it is supposed to be a body polish but it felt like a really crappy exfoliator like it didn't have really any beads in it at all. This did come in my PMS package and I appreciate sending this because the PMS package is supposed to be like comfort and beauty products and food items so I appreciate this being in the box it just wasn't my thing. I really like a harsh scrub and this just wasn't cutting it for me. Next, I have some body lotions. Previously, in my last empties video, my lotions that I used up in 2016 was 14. And I did use up three in the past month. So that puts my total at 17 lotions used up in 2016. And of course, they're all Bath & Body Works because I got a bunch of lotions at the last two semi-annual sales. So the first one is this Waikiki Beach Coconut. Oh my god, this scent smells so good. It is a very sweet coconut scent and I want a full bottle of this because it smelled freaking amazing. And this is just the travel size one. I went through it very fast because it smelled so freaking good and I would definitely repurchase this scent. And I do like the Bath & Body Works lotion formula. I know some people think they're sticky, but I do not. I also finished up this Hawaii Coconut Water and Pineapple body lotion and the keynotes in here are coconut water, iced pineapple, frosted lemon, Hawaiian cotton, and vanilla musk. And this was fine. It smelled like coconut and cotton to me. The cotton was really overpowering in my opinion so I'm glad I have this lotion finished. The packaging is really pretty because it has Hawaii like the picture and then it has the glitter writing so the packaging is really cute. I just didn't love this scent. The other lotion that I finished up was this Maui Mango Surf Shea and Vitamin E Bite Lotion from Bath & Body Works and the keynotes in here are Ruby Mango, Guava Nectar, White Pineapple, Coral Hibiscus, and Island Sandalwood. This smelled so good. I was using this one and then the Waikiki Beach one at the same time. They smell so freaking good. I love this scent. This was a nice light fruity scent and I used up a little shower gel of this a couple years ago. So when I saw this I'm like yes I'm going to pick it up. This was one of my favorite lotion scents that Bath & Body Works has put out. I would repurchase this scent because it smelled amazing. Lastly I have some skincare empties and I used up three-ish of these Equate Oil Free Eye Makeup Removers and don't judge me, I didn't finish up that much makeup remover in one month, like three full ones. One of them only had a little bit left and when I went on my vacation, my mom didn't have much makeup remover left so I gave her like half of mine. Then I used that on vacation and I also went through a full one. I also use this to spot clean my brushes, like once or twice a week I'll put it on a tissue and then just kind of run my brushes over it just to get some of the color out and clean them a little bit before I will clean them with like soap. So I love this eye makeup remover. When I went to Walmart yesterday to repurchase it, they were out, so I had to get the Neutrogena one, which I am kind of pissed about, but whatever. This makeup remover is great. I use it all over my face, not just for my eyes. I soak a cotton round with it, and it gets most of my face, and then I'll just go over again with another one. It's great. I love this, and I will continuously repurchase it because it works so well, and it's only a couple dollars. I also finished a pack of cotton rounds. These are the Swispers cotton rounds. These work great. This is what I use with my makeup remover and sometimes with nail polish. I prefer to just use cotton balls because I don't want to like waste cotton rounds on my fingers and my toes. So I love these. These were the 100 count I believe and I will repurchase these as well. I used up this sample of the Redmond Clay 
facial mud and it's supposed to deep cleanse, treat acne, draw toxins, remove impurities, and tone the skin. And this came in the PMS package as well. This was fine. I didn't notice a major difference just because this only had one use out of it. But I'm sure if I got the full size, I'd be able to give you a full review on this. But for now, it was just okay. I finished this Fresh Soy Face Cleanser Deluxe Sample slash Travel Size. This came in the birthday gift for this year. I did choose the skincare set as opposed to the Marc Jacobs set because I figured it would be very helpful for going away. So this facial cleanser was very, very gentle. I had a light scent to it. I really prefer something with a little bit of a scrub to it like my Neutrogena Daily Scrub because I've been starting to get blackheads around my nose and I think that's just because I wear a full face of makeup about six days a week even if I do masks and stuff so this wasn't cutting it to scrub the blackheads out of my skin but it felt really nice when I was wearing light makeup or if I wasn't wearing makeup at all and I felt like my face was clean but if I wore makeup that day and I went over my face with this cleanser I had to go over at least twice-ish to get all my makeup off and make sure my face felt clean even though I do use the makeup remover. I'm insane when it comes to makeup removing. I want to make sure everything is off. So I personally wouldn't repurchase this but I know this is a favorite on YouTube. And then lastly I have this L'Oreal moisturizer that I always use. This is the collagen filler moisturizer and I did finish this up. I've gone through so many of these, probably like 50, so I have another one going right now that I'm halfway through, so that will be in my next empties video. And it's a good moisturizer. It is a little bit greasy for me in the summer if I wear it during the day, but during the winter, it's great. It really moisturizes my skin, keeps it hydrated all day, and I love this. We'll continuously pick this up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found my mini reviews helpful in any way. Let me know if you recently posted an empties video so I can check it out, and I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later. Talk to you later. Bye.